The Lost War by Justin Lee Anderson. This book got shoved to the top of my TBR when I heard that it won the 2020 SPFBO award. And yeah, you can bet your little booty I'm gonna be reading the winner of that award every single year because I really trust the selection process and I think it's one of the most healthy things for the community of self-published authors going on right now. But even though I heard about it winning, I went in basically completely blind. The only thing I knew about it was it won that award and I looked at the cover. And I actually think the cover is a pretty decent representation of the material inside. Tonally, it's kind of fairly dark. It's not the most grim dark book I've ever read. It's not lighthearted or just completely, you know, it kind of wavers in this area of the scale. The setting is very classic epic fantasy feeling with a bit more tinges of druid vibes and I think a lot of people come to expect with classic fantasy, but nothing that's going to totally change the game and how anyone's viewing fantasy worlds. Yet, I think the author has a very modern and fresh approach to writing in such a classic fantasy world. And I know there are very large audiences out there who like modern approaches to classic fantasy settings. So boom, already this is going to be a highly tempting pickup for many members of the community. Now that modern approach comes through the most clearly with the story and the characters. Now very often I will say a book is character driven. I do not think that is the case here. This feels much more plot driven to me. In fact, I would go ahead and label this a questing fantasy. And so we have our initial quest set up and then the characters just following along for the ride. It feels very classic in that sense, but there's twists along the journey and the ways our characters are unveiled to us feel much more modern. There are not many big weaknesses on any of those fronts. I think the author has a distinct style, a very satisfying way of writing that I think rides the line between beautiful and practical. I enjoyed the presentation of this book altogether. I listened to this book and I found the narration to be exceptionally good. So yeah, I could even say you might want to pick this one up on your Audible or Libby, whatever you want to use for your audiobook needs. I also want to quickly say this is the first book in a planned trilogy. More people have been asked me to include whether or not something's a one-off or part of a series. So here you go. It is apparently a part of a planned trilogy. But this review now needs to descend into a much more alternative approach to how I typically review a book here on the channel, because this is a prime opportunity to talk about presentation of story and how there's some things that are going to work for a lot of people, but will drive others absolutely mad. And I think The Lost War absolutely slams right in the middle of this because overall this has overwhelmingly positive reviews. But if you look into the few negative ones that do exist out there, they seem to be rather just frustrated with a lot of the ways this story is presented and there's quite a bit of nitpicking that can be done. I don't think I saw a single review though of this book that said it was bad in execution. It really does come down to a stylistic preference for storytelling. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? I need to get into a very vague spoiler for this book overall. And that is that there is just a big reveal, a big twist. And for the sake of the story, if you are just following along with this story driven narrative, it's quite awesome. I liked it. But if you look into the negative reviews, it is one of those things where if you are nitpicky, if you need every element and beat of your story to align and make sense, and particularly if you are much more character motivation driven, I think you could have some pretty large problems with it because for the story, it's an awesome reveal. For the characters, there are definite ways to kind of start picking it apart, especially in terms of just like, why would villain do this? Because this ends up being dumb for villain. So yeah, if you're one of these people who it's like, hey, the villain especially could solve this with X, Y, and Z, and that's gonna really bug you if a story does not address that, then you might end up having some larger problems with the Lost War. But if you're able to kind of turn off that part of your brain and just enjoy a reveal for being a pretty awesome reveal, then you'll be happy. And that's gonna come down to preference, right? There's a lot of people who can just go, hey, I don't really care if it all makes complete sense. I just want the story to be awesome and have that oh damn moment. And there are others who really need the characters to be the catalyst for almost every major event and reason. And if it doesn't make sense for the characters, it can piss you off as a reader substantially. And I get that. There's nothing wrong with that preference. The Lost War to me just falls into the other side quite 
heavily. I mean, you can see this all the time in reviews for like Marvel movies where like people really enjoyed in-game, but then you'll see reviews out there who will pick apart like a thousand different character choices that could have solved the problem and didn't entirely make sense. But that doesn't mean the people who like in-game are wrong. It's just a preference in storytelling style. Personally, it didn't bug me that much. I kind of fall in the middle when it comes to this stylistic preference. I enjoy things to make complete sense and be character motivated, but I'm willing to just accept what the author's trying to get to as well. I know I typically focus more on setup and character and things like that for reviews, but I really just wanted to get into that discussion. But I'll give you the basic setup now. There is a king who puts together a collective group to go on a mission for him. Very typical fantasy, right? And it's about how this falls into place and the way the characters behave that I think makes this stand out from the crowd very, very well. The Lost War is going to be a book that I think really hits a lot of people different, especially in just... I don't know, the characters at the front and how progressive it feels while staying classic in such fantastic ways. I love the overall blend of this story. I think it's a beautifully executed idea and the author didn't back down and having it come across like his book, which is always something I appreciate. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend this book to the Abercrombie fans, the Pierce Brown fans, the Fonda Lee fans, because I know that crowd specifically is so heavily steeped in character, 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 and I just don't feel that's where the Lost War is. I actually went down a rabbit hole of reviews for this book that I found to be kind of interesting because a lot of the positive ones will even mention how they liked the book, but in the end, they ended up loving it. And that's such, again, a preference thing. There's there's definitely crowds who can be won over by an ending, and there are crowds who need to be entertained the whole way through. I don't think anyone won't be entertained by this book, but I have a feeling there are going to be people who are like going to be getting through it versus people who are loving every step of the way, and it's about how that reveal that you could have some trouble with is going to end up sitting on your shoulders that's going to decide whether or not you end up in the love it or just, okay, that was fine crowd. Personally though, I really enjoyed it. The cast of characters absolutely serves the purpose they need to. The main character, Aranook, even is a very nice representation of what I think the overall approach to writing this book is, which is very much so steeped in what is known, but with some interesting angles that feel much more modern and refreshed to him. That's that's the Lost War as a whole. Even the opening of this book feels very typical for an introduction of a hero, but if you're paying attention, there's quite rapidly a more realistic take on how a situation like this would play out. And then quickly with other characters introduced and brought to the forefront, it becomes quite apparent that this author is much more I don't, I keep sounding like I'm being negative towards classic. I like classic fantasy, but much more aware of how real humans would behave in these situations than much of classic fantasy would have. I'm going to give this one a solid seven out of 10. And let me know what you think of this very messy approach to review in the comments down below, where I think I focus more on discussion this book provides than the book itself, but I hope that discussion gave you a very clear picture of how the book plays out overall. Let me go in the comments down below, and like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here, and have a good one, y'all. Peace!